Welcome to this guidance on reflecting on the graduate attributes. What are graduate attributes? Well, graduate attributes are the skills, behaviours and values that students develop during their time at the University of Birmingham. You'll acquire and develop these attributes both through your programme of study and through your connections with the wider culture, curriculum and community of UOB. The acquisition of these attributes is a process. A reflective log will help you to consider which attributes you are developing and which ones you would like to develop further in the future. But what is reflection? Well, reflection is a kind of thinking. It involves analysing your experiences in order to learn, develop and improve. When you reflect, you're thinking about the past in order to change the future. Why do we reflect? Well, you'll develop a better understanding of your strengths and your areas for development. You'll develop skills in reflective thinking and writing, which will themselves be useful in all aspects of your future study, employment and everyday life. And you'll be better able to describe the skills that you've developed during your studies when applying for internships, further study and employment. In these contexts, you're required to articulate not only what you have done during your time at the university, but the significance of these activities. What are the various skills and behaviours and values which you now possess? These are the graduate attributes. So how can you learn to reflect? Well, reflection is a skill that takes practice. Various models and frameworks can help with that process. Gibbs's reflective cycle, for example, is useful for reflecting on your experiences. It invites you to think about your feelings and being a cycle, it encourages you to think about what you might have achieved, but also what you might want to do in the future. Gibbs suggests that we reflect on an experience by moving from description of an activity to an acknowledgement of our thoughts and feelings to an analysis of the experience. And this enables you to draw conclusions. What else could have been done? What should be done differently next time? You might find the questions posed in this cycle help to give your thinking some structure. Try jotting down notes under each of the headings. What does good reflection look like? Good reflections are characterised by thoughtful, analytical comments. Compare these examples. The weaker example is quite descriptive. I gave a presentation in my seminar. We had to talk about deforestation. The stronger example is more analytical. I led my group in gathering and analysing data for a presentation on deforestation. Through this activity, I have honed my leadership skills and developed a sense of my responsibilities in relation to the environment. A good way to avoid very descriptive writing and to move towards this more analytical, evaluative writing is to keep asking, so what? So maybe you took part in some group work. Well, so what? What did you learn? Or maybe you've done some voluntary work. Well, so what? What skills have you developed? Perhaps you've attended a workshop. Well, so what? How has the workshop shaped your thinking? These sentence starts might be useful in helping you write about your reflections. You might begin, I now feel more confident with, or next time I'm going to try, or this might be valuable in the future when I. If you'd like to find out more about reflection and reflective writing, have a look at these resources from the Academic Skills Centre.